Hey guys, it's me, Fire Vicky. Um, I'm South Bank First Year Medical Student at Bond Uni. Um, it's been a while since I kind of actually just sat down with the camera and just talked. Um, as you can tell, like my hair's also changed a bit. Um, so in this video, I want to focus more on how to apply to Bond because you know it's that time of year again where applications are about to open in a couple of weeks, and it's kind of scary to think that. You know, it's already been one whole year since I've applied. Um, just feels like literally yesterday that I applied. And yeah, so what I want to cover in this video is kind of outline um, sort of the application process. I've been getting a lot of messages from, you know, a lot of people um, the past few uh, weeks and past few months about, you know, their decision change to apply to Bond. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of release this video um, closer to the application date where people can actually, you know, are thinking about applying and they're going to search on YouTube uh, to apply. So I'm going to break down sort of the timeline of how things are run and how they ran last year so you can get a sense of ideas as to how they might run this year. They might not run that way, but they might. So let's get straight into it. So firstly, you have around the end of January, so around the 22nd to the 27th of January, you have the application times that are open. So usually it starts with a virtual open day, and then for after the virtual open day, the application is open on QTAC, um, and they open for about a week, and then they close. So it's a very short amount of time compared to what we have here in New Zealand, where you actually have sort of months, I think, for you to apply to your clinical program, but that's just how Bond does it, so that's what we have to get used to. So I went to the virtual open day because this was during um, COVID times, right? I mean, COVID is still here, but that's when COVID was a bit more rampant. I went to the open day, I told my parents, I'm like, look, this is a bit too expensive. I don't think, honestly, we can afford this. And they're just like, just shoot the application to see where it goes. So that's how my kind of journey started with Bond. And I applied um, on the 27th, I remember, of January. Um, and I was like, okay, let's just do it. And I quickly filled out the QTAC um, application form, paid the application fee and um, put in my application. So that's when it kind of starts. And then um, I think about a few weeks later, um, if you're ATAR or your um, your GPA or the combination of the two is good enough, um, then you get your psychometric um, test invitation and that's sent to you via email. So we'll say something like, congratulations, you've gone to the next step and here is your interview, uh, sorry, your psychometric test invite and it will, I think it will give you um, the times that you can pick as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and you can s click, um, uh, just slot yourself in a time, and it will be invigilated. So there will be so when you go into the test, right? Um, you you have your computer, you have um, a person also on the other side that will check your entire room, make sure that no one else is in the room, and you're the one that's actually doing the test and make sure that you don't have any notes or anything with you. Not that you can have notes for a psychometric test when they're trying to test your like mindset and your characteristics and stuff, but they'll do that. And after that, you'll, you'll do your test. Um, and obviously, um, if you need any help or advice for preparing for the psychometric test, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, all the details are in the description. And after the psychometric test, another few weeks later, um, you get, uh, if you pass the psychometric test, you will actually um, be invited to the Bonds MMI interview. So Bonds MMI is a bit, a bit different because every medical school needs to have a set of interviews that are a bit different to everyone else's. That's how they kind of differentiate the kinds of medical students that they choose, um, that they're aiming for, that they're trying to build for society. So Bond is a bit different to the other ones. And so Bond has fewer stations, um, but the questions are also a bit more kind of um, generalized, a bit more um, the ones that you can prepare for, unlike the psychometric test. So I've also, I'm also asked regularly, um, you know, how do they cut down on the applicants or the, how do they select the applicants rather? So every time Bond goes through with the um, selection through the selection process, they cut down about 50% of the applicants. So, 
So for example, say that 2000 people applied um, via QTAC. The first 50% with their top GPAs and ATARs, they'll be picked to move on to the psychometric test. And then the top 50% of the people from the psychometric test will receive the um, MMI um, sort of invitation. And then the top 50% of that will actually receive the offers. So that's kind of how it's run, or that's how I kind of understand it from speaking to um, uh, previous students and um, people like that. So that's kind of what the overall process is. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on the psychometric test and the MMI, um, uh, bond specific MMI um, later on. Uh, so it will be released in the next few days from when this video is going to be uploaded. So stay tuned for that. I know a lot of people are messaging me about the psychometric test in particular. Um, I've also got a video already on the channel on the um, just sort of general MMI advice that I've been uh, that I've asked uh, I think six or seven medical students about on the channel as well. So go check that out. Um, it's very useful. I wish I'd known that advice when I was applying as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. So again, if there's anything that you need sort of help with or advice, feel free to reach out and I'll see you guys on the next one.